As the sun was setting on August the 7th, opposition leader Nelson Chamisa was captivating his supporters who had waited the whole day for his message of hope and change in Norton. For the youthful opposition leader, the day had been a grueling affair. He started by addressing mourners gathered at the funeral of murdered citizens coalition for change, CCC activist Tinashe Tsitunge, and holding another rally in Mondoro before heading to Norton. In Norton, the charismatic young leader did not show any signs of fatigue as he kept his audience engaged with his speech. This was not the first time Chamisa addressed multiple gatherings, nor was it the last. As the Zimbabwean presidential election draws closer, the nation is witnessing incredible dedication and energy from the opposition presidential candidate. With an unwavering determination to connect with voters, Chamisa has been addressing two or more rallies per day, tirelessly crisscrossing the rough terrain of the country to spread his message of change and hope. From the early morning hours until late at night, he is seen addressing enthusiastic crowds, captivating them with his charisma and vision for a better Zimbabwe. It is no secret that Chamisa has not been sleeping at home, opting to sleep on the campaign trail instead, in order to maximize his time and reach as many voters as possible. Chamisa believes this sacrifice is necessary to ensure that his message reaches every corner of the country, leaving no voter untouched. His speeches are filled with promises of economic revival, job creation, and improved social services. He rallies the crowd with his eloquence and charisma, leaving them inspired and hopeful for a brighter future. I don't remember the last time I slept home. This is the course that I've chosen to free Zimbabwe, Chamisa said at a rally in Chulumanzu. His supporters have expressed admiration for his willingness to go the extra mile, quite literally to connect with the electorate. Political analyst Romeo Chasara said Chamisa's grueling schedule showed his commitment to connect with his voters. His determination to address multiple rallies per day demonstrates his understanding of the importance of engaging directly with the people, hearing their concerns, and sharing his vision for a prosperous Zimbabwe, Chasara has said. However, health practitioner Mlungi Sindebele said Chamisa should monitor his health because fatigue will set in. The physical toll of constant travel and public speaking can be exhausting and Chamisa's health and well-being must be closely monitored. It is crucial for him to find moments of rest and rejuvenation amid the demanding schedule to ensure he remains in top form for the campaign trail, Ndewele said. Addressing multiple rallies have also come with its challenges, with police saying it is posing security risks. The police reiterate that night rallies are a security threat as this affects the safety of the public in general. We urge political party leaders to properly organize their public gathering activities and avoid compromising the movement and security of the public by hosting multiple rallies in a single day, with some spilling into the night, the police said in a statement.